women finally realize why men don't want to commit to them. I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. Okay, this is not supposed to be offensive, but I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, like, not like this. Just like, you know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I look crazy. Like, that's why guys don't want to wife me up. And I just come to this realization. Today. See? I thought these men wanted, like, you know, big, strong, tough girls. I don't know. I feel like all of them are, like, like super girly and all these guys are like yeah that's my girl that's just like housewife stuff and I'm over here like I own my own business I'm covered in tattoos I'm a little spazzy but that's okay we embrace it but yeah I I don't think any guys gonna wife me up because they can't take me seriously and I just realized that So this is for the single people. I've been thinking like the last few days, like I could just not imagine ever, ever being with someone ever again. Like, how do you get to that stage of even like meeting someone and then like all of a sudden you're just like hanging around with them every day? Like, how does that even happen? Like, I don't know whether like, I'm just going through like this phase or like this stage of like m a breakup, even though it was like months ago. But like, I just can't envision like envision it. Like, I just don't think I'm ever gonna meet anyone. Like, I'm totally fine being on my own forever. But like, is this a thing? Like, do people still meet people or are people just gonna be single forever now? Like, I just don't get it. Committing to a woman is like trying to fill an inside straight in a five card stud which every entry-level poker player knows not to attempt. In this case, the pot contains your house, children, savings, future earnings, pension, and sanity. Committing to a woman under today's family law system has a roughly 50% chance of destroying a man's life and an 80-90% chance of making him miserable. Most studies indicate half of all marriages end in divorce and the vast majority of the rest are unhappy, oftentimes profoundly so. Biologically speaking, a relationship for a woman is safety, security, and provisioning. Falling in love is a deep-seated biological craving to bond with the highest value male possible, bestowed upon women as the physically weaker gender and the gendered nature charged with the decade-long task of caring for a human child from infancy to adolescence. Women needed such bonds to survive until the last few generations. Men don't have this need the way women do. While evolution programmed women to bond and nurture, it programmed men to achieve and protect. We didn't get to be attractive men by prioritizing relationships with women. A relationship for a fully mature man, attractive and successful enough to have options, is an entirely different, much more practical endeavor. Emotional attachment still plays a role, but it is comparatively minor. Women are hypergamous, men are polygamous. Until very recently, a relationship was more or less a structured interview for marriage, which in turn was an enforceable contract and a prerequisite for sexual access to women and necessary for social stability and the survival of the family unit. Marriage is a cultural adaptation, not a biological one. A man used to willingly take on the burden of providing for you. We accepted the inevitable sexual stagnation that occurs in all relationships. We never wanted the relationship. We endured the relationship. We did so in exchange for the things we value. Men value sex, children, our own, not another man's. Peace, respect, and gender-based household economy of scale. That's pretty much it. Chris Rock captured men's desires in a masterstroke of oratory genius when he said, feed me, fuck me, 
Shut the fuck up. That may be uncouth, but that's literally all a successful man wants from a woman. Before technology allowed us the luxury of leisure time and the opportunity to believe in the fairy tale of a love-based marriage, people rationally understood that marriage was a practical endeavor and necessary for the well-being of children and society. It was enforced. It was something society demanded of both genders for the good of all. Equally important for us men, marriage used to give us ultimate decision-making authority as the more rational gender, thereby providing us with a reasonable amount of assurance that we would receive a return on our investment in you. All that has been dismantled, disemboweled, eviscerated. No-fault divorce and child support laws have destroyed virtually all the value that men use to derive from relationships and marriage. No-fault divorce removed the element of trust from the contract for men. When marriage was an enforceable contract, men could trust women, or at least trust you enough to invest in you. When divorce became optional for every woman, at any time, and for any reason, marriage and family became risk prohibitive for every man. It is that depressingly simple. A modern relationship, at least how women believe it should be, is exactly what we don't want and never want. It's the chaff, not the wheat. It's a biologically impossible expectation. It's the endless nagging and complaining. It's the sour, ever-present taste of disappointment in the air that oozes like sweat from a woman's pores. It's the impossible task of being somehow responsible for your happiness. It's the exasperating drama you create to feel connected to us and test our manly qualities. It's the nauseating dread of having to be spontaneous and romantic on every stupid anniversary, idiotic holiday and date night. It's having to conjure an imbecilic fairy tale for you. It's enduring visits with your family every holiday season that is about as pleasant as having bamboo shoved under our fingernails. It's wasting our precious weekends traipsing around a brush field with a photographer wearing douchey outfits to take cringe-looking family portraits for you to post on your Facebook page to impress all your frenemies and publicly revel in your subjugation of us. It's the squandering of time and money on useless, effeminate, idiotic nonsense in a futile attempt to keep you entertained as if we were a circus animal on a leash performing tricks on cue. It's enduring a woman's illogical, erratic, irrational behaviours and outbursts and decision-making. It's being reduced to little more than a mule and having to plod along slowly and silently toward the grave with a lunatic astride our backs while we watch our childhood dreams disappear over the horizon. It's the soul-destroying realisation a man comes to once he's married that he's been bamboozled into signing what has become the worst contract in the history of contracts. And now the rest of his life is doomed to resemble an endless audition for the lead role in some buffoonish high school musical that only the gay boys would enjoy. Should he fail, all his life's dreams will be destroyed and his children will be taken away. Being married feels like being endlessly fed upon. It feels like pouring your soul into a hole in the ground with no bottom. It feels like being locked in a prison with a psychotic cellmate. It feels like sucking dog shit through a straw in the town square while wearing a clown suit and being sexually violated with the barrel of a gun pressed against the back of our heads with all our family and friends watching. It's hell on earth. It's slavery. It's a living death. All the things that biology shaped us men to be for millions of years are now obsolete because of the technological innovations that men have created. Now all that's left for us to do is entertain you. Endlessly. At the expense of our dignity and freedom and goals and hopes and dreams and hobbies and friendships and alone time and everything else that gives us pleasure. With a proverbial gun to our head, if we're stupid enough to sign a modern marriage contract. A gun that you have a 50, 50 chance of using on us anyway, no matter what we do for you. To hell with that. Fuck that. Ladies, please take the mountain of female-centric and emotion-centric relationship advice that proliferates today and throw it all away. It's absolute crap. It does not apply to us men. All it's doing is causing you to fail and make the men in your lives abjectly miserable and driving the rest of us away in droves. Women have made the last three generations of men so abjectly miserable that millions of other men have learned from their mistakes and sworn off relationships entirely. We members of the MGTO community have made it our mission in life to save other men from the life-destroying consequences of legal and financial entanglements with women. Birth rates are below replacement levels in all Western countries. 
Marriage is forecasted to be extinct within a generation. A man who doesn't want children, or already has children, gains nothing of value from a relationship that outweighs the risks, aggravation, and opportunity costs. A man still wanting children in this day and age literally has to plan to fail. A huge percentage of the ever-dwindling number of men who are willing to get married and have children go into the endeavor filled with dread, hoping only that the experience won't be too miserable. Let all that sink in for a minute, seriously. Ladies, you're the oven, you're not the casserole. Your value to the type of man you all seem to want is your procreative capacity, your domestic aptitude, and whether or not you are attractive enough, sane enough, and pleasant enough to take out in public. That's it. If you can't offer a man children of his own and a reasonable amount of assurance that you'll be a good wife and mother and you won't make our lives miserable, you really don't have much else to offer except short-term meaningless sex. Men like me can get sex anytime we feel like it. I can get nutritious pre-made meals from Costco or DoorDash for a fraction of the cost of you. I have a washer and dryer to clean my clothes. My house is uncluttered with trinkets and pets and all the other useless junk that you women pathologically hoard. Add in feminism, and no-fault divorce and child support, and a complete lack of legal and social consequences for even the most despicable kinds of female behavior. And no, millions of us really want nothing to do with you now, no matter how young and pretty and sweet and chaste and fertile and supportive you are. Marriage and children are too risky, and millions of your counterparts are too entitled, selfish, duplicitous, unpleasant, exhausting, exasperating, and irrational. We'll have sex with you, sure. The primitive lizard brain will always exist, but the rational brain wants nothing to do with you post-coitus because a simple risk-reward analysis just doesn't pencil out. Relationships aren't worth the risk, hassle, and opportunity costs anymore. It's just that simple. The virtuous men among us will even tell you the truth about all this up front. You, collectively, as women, have hunted the good men to the brink of extinction, while at the same time unwittingly turning the dating market into a sociopath's paradise. It was women, by and large, not men, who agitated for and ultimately got a no-fault divorce. You wanted to have your cake and eat it too. Well, now you can have cock. You can have all the cocks you want. You can literally have mountains of cock. But millions of you no longer get any cake. Anyway, that's all for today on manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.